Hello and welcome to the Bradio Software Development YouTube channel. Sorry I've been gone for a while but we're back in action and today we're going to be looking at my Chia mining rig and we're going to see how that's done over the last six months. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up my VNC server. So for the first half of the video, I'm going to talk about Spaceport a little bit, but if you don't want to see that bit, you can always skip ahead. Look in the description below and take a look at the timestamps and just skip to the bits that you want to see. So I haven't logged into this in quite a long time, actually, to be fair with you. Okay, so I'm sure there's a few things on here I'm probably meant to hide from public view, but screw it. I mean, it's a public pool.space account, so... And as you can see here, we have a few... Um, Badges, maybe, maybe they're badges. Yep. So we've got top of the rank, uh, top 10k rank. So I'm in the top 10k of all space pool uh, contributors. And over here we've got three month tenure. Uh, makes kind of sense because I'm at, well, actually I'm not at the six mark month just yet on this pool because I started to this pool a bit after the six month mark. So I'm hoping that that changes to a six month in the future. But then what's this one here? 100 terabytes. So uh, I'm not quite sure what's happening with this because I have 130 something terabytes, but it always fluctuates between 110 and 130. And I'm not quite sure how Spacepool works this out. But given the benefit of a doubt, we think we know what they're doing. There is actually a little hint here that says that this won't impact your um, income. Um, so yeah, your rewards are not calculated off this estimate. So we're going to give them the benefit of a doubt and hope that that's true. Um, here we can see my unpaid XCH. Now, Spacepool actually made an adjustment to their service about a month ago or so. I got an email about it because honestly, this unit has been sat inside my cupboard downstairs under the stairs um, for about four or five months since I moved into my new house. So I haven't touched it. I've just left it running. Occasionally, I've got a power cut or something. I had to restart it and reboot it. But as soon as it stopped plotting, I just left it. So um yeah so going back to this unpaid xch what they've done now is you actually have a cap the minimum payout to like 0 0.05 or something like that but it's still relatively quick to get it in a minute so it's not too bad um over here we've got the total paid xch so this is what i've been paid so we've got pp lns points um not quite sure what these are i think they're just like points that you get like through being a member of the space pool uh, and then we've got blocks found now, as you can see i found one block now you could argue that obviously if I had this on my own, I would find a block and I would make $141 currently to myself. But at the same time, there's no way of knowing that. I could have made 10 blocks by now on my own. I could have made one block. And as you can see, I did make one block. So the part, the but you do get a, a slightly higher payout when you find a block. So you get like a bigger percentage of the, um, the pool that you're in. Uh, so you do get a little bit more money if you find a block, which I did because I, I saw my graph, which I'll come to in a minute, but it kind of went across and then pumped up one day. And I was like, why is it pumped up? That's really weird. Like, has somebody given me some cheer in my wallet? I know it turns out that I found a block, so I got more of a reward. And then we've got round share here, which is crap. So if we scroll down, uh, you can see here that we've got all of our partials. So we've got all of our points here from the proof of space. Uh, so this is every single proof of space that I have done myself and as you can see here it goes back to mm, the last 24 48 hours something like that not that interesting to be honest with you so let's scroll to the top just gonna make this move this a bit over there we go so you can see what's going on um so over here we've got blocks so that's the block that i found that i talked about and we've got the hash there for the block again not sure if i'm meant to be showing this but i don't really care do something with it if you want um and then we've got the payouts. So we've got all of our little mini payouts here. So getting about 0.2 per payout. We're getting about two a day, sometimes three a day. So yeah, we're not really making much money from this. And then we've got the fees. Uh, obviously the higher rank you get, the more discount you get. Very, very negligible because of the amount of space that I've got. So uh, let's come off the space pool and let's go and have a look at my wallet. So as you can see here, um, it jumped from uh, 2.07 to 2.33 and that's because of the pool win that I made so I managed to get a, a little bit of extra money there and then if we go to plots you can see all these plots and you can see 105 terabyte again that's not correct um, I don't know what's up with this interface I haven't updated it in a while 
Uh, maybe I should actually get around to updating it because there might be loads of exploits or something. But um, 105 terabytes, it's not that, it's 130 because I've made all the plots and if I go to my hard drives over here and we look at all of our terabytes, um, I can add them all up from not the two, uh, not the two, two terabyte volumes because they're my plotting ones I used before I stopped plotting. And uh, so we've got 16 terabyte times four, they're all the same size and you can see that they're uh, 16 terabytes. So 16, 32, 64. And then over here, we've got the same amount of volumes. So we've got, what's in this one? We've got 14, 14, 14, 14. So 14, 28, 56. So 56 at 64. Yeah, that's about 120 odd, isn't it? Oh, I'm so bad at maths. And uh, 64 plus six. 120 okay so it's not quite 130 but it's 120 so we should have a we should have 120 um terabytes worth of space but you know um it's still a little bit short not sure why what we're going to do now is we're going to go to back to space pool and we're going to work out how much we've made so 230 uh 300 dollars we've been paid out and we've got another two to go so let's just round it to 300 So let's get a little notepad out. Does Linux have a notebook? Bim? No. Oh, Visual Studio Code. Who's this? Right. So zoom in. Oh, wrong way. There we go. Perfect. Close all this crap. Okay. So hopefully you can see this on the screen. So we've got $300 and we've been doing it for roughly, say, six months. So let's work, let's work this out. <laughs> Oh, it's really bad. Uh, so 300 divided by six, $50 a month. Okay, and then we'll convert this to um, pounds. So let's do 300 to GBP. Wow, that's really bad. The exchange rate has gone bad since last time I looked. Um, so let's just do 225 as an estimate. And then here we'll change this to 50. And we've got 37. Okay. So <laughs> 37 pound per month income. Um, how much is my electric? <laughs> That's how much money we've made per per month. It's absolutely shocking. I can't believe we've only made thirty seven pound a month. Um, it's absolutely ridiculously bad. <laughs> and when we consider um, how much I actually put into my rig, I I, I won't go into the individual um, costings of every single thing, but I can give you a rough price of how much it costs, which was around three thousand pound. <laughs> so if we do the calculation here and we go to our calculator. Um, it will take us, let's do 3,000, uh, sorry, let's clear this. Three thousand divided by uh, 37. 81 months. So if the price stayed exactly the same for the next 81 months, that's how long it would take us in order to get our investment back. Now, that's not to say that we won't make money because we can always sell our rig for parts for second hand. And, uh, you know, the, the, the SSDs, they're, they're high TBWs and they still are high TBWs, even though I plotted 130, 130 terabytes on them. Uh, so I could actually sell those for pretty much probably 20% less than what I bought them for, maybe 30% if I'm unlucky. Um, but then also the external hard drives and the, uh, the standard hard drives that I bought, the NAS ones, They've actually gone up in price, so I'd actually make money on those now. Um, I know for a fact that I would make money on them because there's a massive shortage. Uh, you know, there's um, uh, all, all COVID stuff going around, and then you've got the blocks from China and things like that. So there are a lot of things that we can make money on from the rig itself. So it's not totally the end of the world. I haven't. I think I'd probably still make my money back 
at bare minimum. But then we've also got that one cheer that I bought that has dropped in value as well. So we've got the $1,400 lowering down to uh, just under $200. Uh, so that's not great. So all in all, my experience with cheer has been a pretty bad one. Uh, totally not like I expected it to be with Ethereum. Um, it's been six months, so you could argue I haven't done it long enough yet, but I think that I would have seen some kind of return by now if it was going to hold out for a long time. So I think what my plan is going forward is I'm going to keep on farming because I've got nothing to lose. All of that equipment that I've got downstairs, like I said in the previous videos that I made six months ago, I can always turn those, uh, I can always turn that supercomputer into a really, really good NAS. And external hard drives are always useful to have, you know, whether I'm, if I'm going on holiday, if I need some more backup space, if I need, if I need something, you know, it's always good to have that stuff lying around. And the same with the SSDs as well. If I wanted to build, you know, I've been thinking about building like a little pie cluster or something like that. So I can, you know, salvage all of those parts and take them out if I need to. But for now, I'm going to keep this churning. And I think what I'm also going to do as well is we'll come back in six months time again and we'll have another look at it. Because I think I'm probably going to keep this until June, July. And I want to do a full year with it. I don't want to give up just yet. Because uh, you never know, you know, the Chia might go up massively over the next six months. Uh, I haven't been in the loop that much with Chia. I've just kind of left it churning in the background. So we'll see what's what, um, we'll see what's up. So that's pretty much all I've got to say about this Chia mining rig. It's gone badly. I'm not going to lie about it. I'm not going to try and big up Chia and say buy Chia now, sell all your savings and buy Chia. Inflation's through the roof, so buy Chia. I'm not going to say that because it's not true. Um, there are some cryptos that have gone up, like Ethereum, Cardano, Bitcoin, obviously. Um, but Chia, mm, you know, it might have been a Do another Dogecoin or another Shiba or something like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm a bit annoyed, but what can I do? It's an investment. It was a risk. It could have paid off in div It could have paid dividends. It could have not. But I'm going to keep it another six months and we'll see where we go. So I'll stop chatting now. Um, remember to uh, like the video um, or you can dislike it because dislikes don't actually matter anymore, which is all good for us uh new creators and also remember to subscribe as well so in the bottom right hand corner there's a big fat red subscribe button make sure you press that and also if uh you're not following me on instagram look in the description below and follow me on instagram um so thanks for watching my first day back after six months off and we'll catch you in the next video where we're going to be doing a new series so one two four maybe five episodes so thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video see you later